Hi, Sirius Bruce here, back with another Realm Grinder video, episode 81. And it's been a couple days since last episode, and it looks like I have 43,000 mana per second, probably due to my research build. And, um, okay, there's a bunch of new stuff I'm noticing. So, um, yeah, there's more trophies I've unlocked. There's this, which is produce more mana. And then, I haven't gotten these upgrades, but apparently... I, these upgrades exist. So okay, I'll 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 get to I'll get to, to them. I think I know what they are. Actually, I I have unlocked. Uh, it's weird. Why doesn't it say I have that? But it's here. So okay, reverse auto casting. This is like the big one. It allows you to manually reset spells. Hmm. So does that? I I can see. So it's like you can cast reset cast reset. I I can see. I see for you know like like you know sp spam spell for like spamming spells that I can see how this can be a lifesaver and then also an increase your mana reach well offline increase your mana produced by 10% of your mana regen per second and your spells cast them out multiplicatively based on your offline mana regen spells with a fixed duration cannot be reset okay so yeah that that's pretty cool and yeah, there is the trophy for reverse auto casting and then this is the other thing which is probably even bigger than reverse auto casting, tiered auto casting, and this will come later. Also, what is this? This is a arcane brilliance one unlock tier two for all spells. So, so yeah, this is the beginning of the most time walling mechanic in Realm Grinder, spell tiers. So, essentially, what I'm what it looks like is happening is that um, these are spell tier upgrades. And I'm not exactly sure how I unlock them. I mean, I, I know somewhat about spell tiers, but not all that much. So I need, I have enough diamond coins. What it does it, it, is it enables one additional cast for call to arms. Each tier unlocked also reduce the activity time to unlock different tier upgrades and it increases offline production based on mana statistics. So I guess I'll just get these. They This one also costs faction coins, so also enables one additional caster holy light. So what you'll notice is that here it says call to arms two instead of just one. And it's probably the same for these. I'm probably missing, yeah, I'm missing faction coins. I need E13 of every faction coins and E67 diamond coins to get spiritual surge two. But I've heard to unlock these spell tiers, it's something like time wally. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's something time wally. And it looks like I've unlocked tier two for all of these. Probably, yeah, I need more diamond coins to get the diamond pickaxe too. So I think with reverse auto casting, I can. I'm not exactly sure how to um, how to like use it. I don't see any. Where was the? Oh, here's the control shift click things. It's okay. X click to to set a maximum tier. Z click to set the maximum possible tier. I don't know what that means. Like, isn't that what they both do? Also, actually, I didn't even notice the, the mana cost is also increased, but that doesn't really matter all that much. And then R click to reset the spell. So like, I could do R click and like this, and I could probably I'm. Maybe if I control, maybe if I do this, um, I can, yeah, I can just, I can just cast it as much as I want, which is super useful for, um, sp like, spam casts. So, for example, I've, I've heard that there are some secret trophies that I was supposed to get that I have not gotten yet, and honestly, I'm just going to look up the spoilers for them because they shouldn't even be secret trophies because... I don't get why they're secret, so I'm just gonna look up the spoilers for them. Okay, I know what I, what I need to do is I, I do just need to use all the like faction spells like God's Hand and Diamond Pickaxe. I'm not even sure if I need Diamond Pickaxe, but wh whatever, I will st still do it like that. And um, it's weird that you can't. Can, can you do this? No. I, I was I was trying to. I, I'm hope, hoping there's a way to like reverse auto cast without having to just spam. Click because I mean, yes, it's faster, but still, 
I don't like spam clicking. I don't think I don't think most people like spam clicking like this. So yeah, I I can still easily get a hundred casts, but it's just annoying. And you also have to be holding holding R the whole time. I mean, I guess that's not that bad, but still. And then it still says I've only cast a diamond pickaxe eleven times, even though I just uh, maybe maybe no maybe I do this and then R. No, I I see. So click and then R click click R click. Um, I just need to be, or maybe it's only checking once every second or something. Weird. Well, this is still very slow. I don't like this. And yeah, it's it's checking like once every three seconds. So I I, I really want there to be a better way to reverse autocast in this. I th I thought there'd be a better way, but or may maybe if I just have it ca automatically casting as bronze. Maybe that will help. And yeah, well, okay, it helps. I can just now hold R and click, but still, that's this is gonna take a long time, and then I have to do this with like ten different spells. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Maybe I can do this on two spells at once. This will this should start helping things a little bit. So now I have to move my mouse around while I'm spam clicking. Now it looks like I just got a random trophy without even trying, without even going for it. I got color, colorful auto casting. I wasn't even going for that one, but I just got it accidentally. Have each type of auto casting active simultaneously. So, yeah, that's actually cool. Let's see what I unlock with that. I unlock. Increase mana regen by 10%. That's actually really good because that increases my roughly 55,000 mana per second to 60,000 mana per second. That's 5,000 mana per second in one upgrade. So I guess I guess that's cool. Um, but other than that, I think I just have to keep, you know, spam clicking these for prismatic mana. Actually, I've, I, I looked at the spoiler for the upgrade and it, that upgrade, I've heard, is even more powerful than the colorful auto casting I just got. I, w I, w I, th I think colorful auto casting is like an Ascension 1 plus only thing. Also, these upgrades, I haven't even really been showing them to you, but they're actually really powerful. It's 100 mana per second right there. Yeah, well, I, I found out that I do not need to do Diamond Pickaxe, but I still need to do all of the um, like upgrades like or the ones here, like God's Hand. So the thing is that I need a um, hundred of each and it needs to be exactly the same so it's almost like a quality so yeah that's that's gonna be tough I'm also gonna um, since I currently have 57 this reincarnation I'm, I'm gonna try to um, click I think I think something like X click to set a maximum tier so like X I'm guessing like X one no that's not how it, how it works oh I see this switches between one and two, so I'm guessing if it's one, uh, it'll only cast one spell. But if it's um, two, it'll cast two spells. I see. The thing is that I want it to be even instead of odd, and also just yeah. This I really don't like that it's only checking once every like three seconds. So this is gonna take a while, especially with every spell. I mean, luckily, actually, I am allowed to use mercenaries, which will speed up the process considerably, but still, this is terrible. I don't know why this is actually a part of the game, but it is. I mean, like, the spell tiers are time wally, but this is just an active grind that you can't, like, you can't escape it. Okay, now I'm at 99, so I'm gonna just cast one spell to get it to 100, and then abdicate and become a mercenary. So this should also give me some experience with like some of the other spells. I'm probably just gonna go neutral because that's what I'm used to with mercs, and faction coins probably will be pretty easy to get. And yeah, I, I yeah, I, it shouldn't be too hard. 
I mean, maybe I should go like elf line or something because that should help with like faction coins, which is crucial for the merc builds. I'm I'm probably just gonna do the spells here and then I'll I'll focus on the and then I'll just do like certain upgrades. So I I think I'll just do fairy chanting and um, moon blessing, and I think that's it for spells. I can only do two at a time, which is extremely annoying. I guess I'll just do light building rush build three, even though it's not really gonna do much. I guess I get two spells that I can I can use. Yay! And I only have two eighteen mana regen. Maybe I should focus on mana regen for these with these last ones. Like for example, like this is only plus eight, but it may it's more like plus twelve here. And maybe if I go into a, like if I get the right right upgrade I can get like yeah 70 mana regen so that's decent it's really not that good but whatever it'll do something and now I need to I don't I think I'm only in tier one with these spells because I think you just need to cast it like here it is the tiers auto tiered auto casting upgrade and it allows you to set the maximum tier you wish to auto cast each spell to in the spell tooltip use the diamond icon to change its mode um, until you get to the desired maximum tier number uh, spells until follow their previous priority rules and then offline stuff to unlock higher tiers for spells you need to unlock accumulate enough activity time with them and then reincarnation you may accumulate activity time by using a spell or by going offline while it while leaving in auto cast mode so this is sort of the how the spell tier time walls come into existence you have to have enough time with that spell and you can only and you can only do it in a certain reincarnate in like one reincarnation. You can't do it across reincarnations. So yeah, that's what that is all about. But I guess it's time to get these two spells going, and then uh, yeah, uh, R and just spam. That's literally what I'm gonna do. This is not fun, but I guess that's what I'll do. I guess I'll get the tier all casting upgrade in case I I ever actually get tier two for. Fairy chanting and moon blessing, but yeah, I, it looks like I'm just gonna be spamming like this for the next, I don't know, ten minutes. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, so it's been well over a month since the last time I've, I've recorded Realm Grinder, and this is due to a number of reasons. First, prismatic mana really demotivated me just because of it's just a grind wall. And you can't do anything about it. And it's just... You just have to be active spamming these buttons, holding the R key for like half an hour. And then, of course, you need to do um, do that with a bunch of different runs. So, yeah, that demotivated me. Also, I didn't have much access to my computer. So, yeah. And also, just the post-ascension gameplay is pretty repetitive. So... Hopefully, hopefully now, I, I think all I need to do is just get this up to 100 total casts. I've, I've done it with all the other spells in this reincarnation, or the spells that I've needed to. So, this should give me the Prismatic Mana Trophy. Hopefully. I, I really hope it gives it, because if it doesn't, that I have no idea. Okay, here we go. And, there it is. Prismatic Mana, that took forever to unlock and yeah I, this is actually really i've i've seen the effects of this it's increased mana regen by 25 percent which is really good considering it's super easy to reach e32 diamond coins so yeah it's, it's this secret trophy all the way down here and it's cast the same amount of faction spells with all vanilla and neutral factions with a minimum of 100 each and it has to be unlocked um post ascension so, yeah, there's also, I got this, which is probably just cast E7 spells in a single game. I've also gotten some spell tiers, so, like you notice, like, is um, second tier of this, second tier of that. Just second tier of, like, everything. So, yeah, hopefully next episode I'll be doing um, better things. I, th I think I should try to go for stuff like Iron Rush and Triple Weirdness. In the coming reincarnations and i can reincarnate again i'm not sure if that's the best thing to do but anyway hope you enjoyed peace out